Toy Reviewer here, and today we're going to be looking at the DreamWorks Trolls Mold and Paint Plaster Activities Kit from Crazy Art. So this set says that you can mold and paint four 3D trolls, and the trolls can sparkle with glitter paint. So all we need to do is mold them and paint them. Looks really awesome. So let's go ahead and open it up. So the first thing that we have in the box are our molds. So this one right here is Poppy. You can see here's the front of her and the back. So that is really cool. Next we have DJ Suki. So here's her front and the back. We also have Cooper. Here's the front and the back. And the last one that we have here is Guy Diamond. So there's his front and the back. So those are the four molds that you get. Next we have our plaster mix. And I'm gonna tell you guys right now, if you run out of plaster after you've made all of your characters and you wanna make more, all you need to do is go get Plaster of Paris and you can make lots more of your trolls. Now Plaster of Paris, you can get that at like Home Depot, Lowe's, places like that and just follow the instructions for that. Next we have a pair of gloves. We also have a protective mask. We have a mixing stick, and we have our acrylic paints, and our paintbrush, and the last thing, of course, is the instructions. So the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is cover your work area. Now my work area is actually covered in a hard plastic that I can just wipe clean, but otherwise you would need to use like paper towels or newspapers and lay those down first. Next what you're gonna do is you're gonna pick the mold that you wanna start out with. So I'm gonna start with Guy Diamond. Next what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna get a plastic or paper bowl or cup that we are going to mix our plaster in. Now the reason that we want this to be paper or plastic is because we're gonna wanna throw this away once we're done using it because once you have mixed your plaster in here, it'll harden and you won't be able to use this bowl again. Next you're gonna wanna get a 1 4th cup measuring cup and we're gonna fill that with warm water and place it into our mixing bowl. Now for this part, what you can do is you can put on your little gloves. So I don't think that these gloves are going to fit me. They might. They might be too small because they're for children's hands. So I don't think that's gonna work. I can't get my hand in there. So I'm just gonna not use any gloves, but you guys definitely should wear some gloves. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our mix right here open it up then we're gonna get a half a cup measuring cup and we're just gonna get half a cup of our mix like that and then we're going to put it into our bowl with our water I'm just pour in a little bit at a time get your mixing stick and mix it up and you're going to want to work pretty fast with this because it will start to dry. Make sure it's all good and mixed. So that looks pretty good. So here's our mold. And we're going to quickly want to start pouring that in. And we're going to want to make sure that we're kind of tapping these a little bit as we go along. And it's okay if it gets a little messy. Might be easier to use like a plastic spoon to help you get this out. And just again, we're just gonna keep kind of banging it on the table a little bit, make sure it's all filling in there. And that'll get rid of any air bubbles. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna let this sit for three to five minutes. All right, so once you have let it dry for three to five minutes, what we're going to do is we're just going to close these together. And you want to kind of do it kind of quickly here. There we go. Make sure it's all closed. What we're going to do is we're going to kind of turn it into a vertical position. And I've got mine with his head facing down. And just tap. 
So now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna leave it in a vertical position like this for about 45 minutes. So while we're waiting, let's go ahead and start on our other three molds. Then we need to make sure it's in a vertical position. Give it a few taps. And we'll set this one aside to dry for 45 minutes. So after 45 minutes, what we're gonna do is we are going to open up our mold. All right, so as you can see, when we took her out of the mold, this piece right here, the front of her hair fell off. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys how to get this back on there in case any of your pieces fall off. But for right now, I'm just gonna set this aside. Now, she has a little base piece. We're not gonna wanna chip this off, but we can chip off a little bit around the sides like that to kind of clean it up. So for this next part, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually use a knife. Now, if you are going to use a knife to clean up the edges, do get a parent to help you with that. And I'm just going to carefully kind of use the knife to smooth out around these edges the way I want it. Alright, so now what I want to do is I want to fix my poppy. So you can see right here the front of her hair broke off. I've saved it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of the plaster mix and make up a small little batch of our plaster. So I've got a little bit of water. Just going to add a little bit of plaster to it. Mix it up until it's the right consistency. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're just going to add a little bit of that plaster mix to the piece that we want to stick back on, like this, and just stick it on. Okay, so we're just going to take a little bit of that plaster, place it on there, kind of smooth it out with our finger, and just fill it in, like this all the way around then once we're done we're just gonna let it dry add a little spot for her nose where that didn't fill in right here we have a spot where her arm is that had like a little hole on it add a few drops in there and smooth it out let it dry just basically filling in any holes or broken pieces. We have a spot right here behind the ear. Once you have popped out your figure from the mold and you have cleaned up all around the edges and fixed any area that needs extra plaster, you will let it dry overnight. So here's what Guy Diamond looks like. And he looks pretty good. As you can see, I have patched up a few areas where he was broken. The only place that didn't get any patching was right here on the ear. He has this tiny little hole right there, but that should be okay. It should look fine once we paint it. So let's go ahead and get out our paints. And once you have your paints out, you're also going to want a bowl of water to wash off your paintbrush. Here is the paintbrush. And you're also going to need a paper towel to clean off the brush. So let's go ahead and get started. And I think for this one, I'm going to start by using the sparkly purple right there for his body.
does, I'm just gonna add on a few more coats of paint and put on a little bit of details. Now let's start painting Cooper. for the Cooper is I'm gonna add a second coat of paint and a few details. Now let's work on DJ Sookie. gonna go ahead and do a second coat of paint on DJ Sookie and also some details. Now let's do Poppy. So now I'm just going to add a little bit of green and I'm going to do a second coat of everything and add some details and we'll be done with Poppy and we'll take a look at her. So I have some very sad news you guys and that is DJ Suki did not make it. Her head fell off. It fell on the floor and I did not have enough plaster to fix her so we're not going to be able to take a look at the finished DJ Sookie. She looked really cool. I enjoyed starting to paint her but her head just it fell off so nothing I could do about it. But we do have the other three to look at so let's go ahead and take a look at the first one that we did which was Guy Diamond. And here's what he looks like after I painted him. 
And you can see he's got kind of this shiny look to him. Now that is because I added a little bit of Mod Podge to it to make it look kind of shiny. I think he came out really, really nice. So let me know what you guys think about him. And of course his purpley color has a little bit of that sparkle to it. Looks really cool. So the next one that we have is Cooper. So here's Cooper. As you can see that they have these little bases on the bottom and I guess you could have removed that with maybe a knife or something and just left them without the little stands. But I kind of like the stand and I just painted it white. So here's what it looks like. And for the green, all I did was I mixed a little bit of blue and yellow and a little bit of white to make it a lighter color green for his hat. And I think he came out really, really cool. And then, of course, we have Poppy. So luckily, Poppy looks good. She came out really nice. I love her dress. Looks really cool. And again, I did do the same thing with the green on her. And each of these has been sprayed with some Mod Podge. So they look really, really cool. Of course, DJ Sookie, unfortunately, did not make it. But these three look really, really awesome. So let me know what you guys think. And if you guys like this video, don't forget to like subscribe, comment, and stay tuned for more Trolls videos. Come back tomorrow for a new video, and if you liked the video you just saw, don't forget to check out our other videos. Find us on Facebook and other social media, and as always, thanks for watching.